the SNE millions of pounds of our council tax is spent picking up litter in Kent every year. BBC Radio Kent surveyed each of the county's borough and district councils and it costs at least £15 million annually. Joining me now is David Campbell Lenaham, street team manager at Tombridge and Malling Council and Andrew McGrath from Medway Council. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Uh, good to have you on. Um, first of all, David uh, from Tombridge and Malling Council. Now you spent, I understand, £1.3 million a year picking up litter. What sort of things are we talking about here? Exactly. Um, Tumbridge and Morning Council, cost of picking up litter, emptying litter bins, clearing fly tips, etc., is just under 1.3 million. If you add on top of that our officer time actually going out and investigating and taking enforcement action uh, uh, where we can, uh, that takes it over the 1.3 million. So it's a considerable amount to our taxpayers. So it's not just. Um fag butts on the street and empty food cartons it's it's fly tipping as well so are we talking about uh, things on the side of the road and laybys etc exactly i mean that's anything from a couple of black sacks dumped in a layby from a car perhaps to you know maybe a couple of tons of construction waste which has been dumped on, at the side of the road and what would you say is the worst sort of thing is it is it the laybys or is it i mean is street rubbish a big problem well street rubbish can be a big problem i mean fortunately in tumbridge and mauling it's not as big a problem as it can be elsewhere so difficulty ranges from fag butts for example because they're extremely difficult to sweep up particularly where you have things like block paving and in the gutters um, but also the big fly tips that can cost thousands of pounds to actually get clear and dispose of uh, particularly where it contains things like asbestos for example okay now you have brought in this new app uh, a smartphone app oh, yeah. um, yeah. tell us about this how does it work well we were approached by a local resident, local businessman who's developed this app and originally he saw it as a, a sort of name and shame type uh, app by te people being able to take a photograph of litter, posting it online and expecting it to get cleared up. Now we've worked very closely with him to develop that app so it actually makes it, it, makes it more um, suitable for local councils and for residents. So the app now actually sends a photograph of the litter or fly tip, whatever the resident's taken a photo of, to the local council, whether it's us, Ashford, could be anywhere around the country. Um, and we, it basically uh, pinpoints it on a map with a GPS location so we can see at a glance what that fly tip or what that litter problem is, exactly where it is, and we can then feed back to the resident and say, yes, okay, this is due to be cleared tomorrow. Uh, it's a big flight. It will need to investigate. This will be done within the next week, for example. So, so when, you, when you say feedback to the residents, does the feedback go back through the app? Exactly, yes. So we can send a message via the app. We can also use the app to forward uh, the issue on to another organisation. So, for example, we've had uh, pictures of potholes and street signs, which are the responsibility of Kent County Council. So we can forward that on, again, feedback to the resident and actually let them know when that job has been completed. OK, what's the app called? It's called Littergram. Mm -hmm. uh, and any resident can download it from www.litogram.co.uk. Oh, presumably, presumably from any application store, if, you, if you're used to that sort of thing on your smartphone. Exactly, and mm -hmm. it has been developed so it's available on Apple and Android devices, whether okay. it be tablet or mobiles. Um, did it cost the council much to develop this app? It hasn't cost the council anything apart from the time we've put into working with Danny Lucas to actually develop it. He's put his time and money into the app and the technology behind it purely because he's very passionate about litter and fly tipping and he travels around the country an awful lot and sees a lot of it. Okay, and, and as you say, you have signed up to it, so the Tombridge and Morling Council have signed up to it, but if somebody uh, is down the road, uh, up the road in Medway, and if they if they use it, is it going to work? If if, if the, do, Does each council have to sign up to it? Well, what we've tried to do with the app is develop it so it's useful for any local authority. Um, so now Danny is hoping that other local authorities around Kent and indeed around the country will sign up to it it's totally free there's no cost to the local authority and hopefully our experience with it can demonstrate to those local authorities it is actually a useful another tool to help residents report matters to the local council and actually get action faster and so what does it save you i mean does it save you in terms of admin time efficiency is that what it does it, at the moment, it's very early days to assess how much time it will save us. But, for example, where we used to get reports of fly tips, on many occasions we would have, then have to send an officer out to assess the fly tip, what material it was, how long it would take to clear, and then book in the appropriate resources. This app enables us to see at a glance the photograph, the location. We can then assess how to get that cleared, whether we need to send somebody out in case there's evidence within the fly tip. Um, uh, and so it will save us in terms of officer time okay. in that way. All right. It doesn't stop people littering, though, I suppose, does it? It doesn't stop people littering. However, what uh, the, the Littergram app also does is produce educational materials.
materials that can be used in schools. It's uh, the, the Litogram uh, app itself is actually supporting some of our local community cleanup events. So it's not just about reporting, it's about engaging the local community to help try and keep our borough clean. Okay, let's bring in Andrew McGrath from Medway Council.